Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. What we have here, this follows what we have a raised to power n minus n, same thing as a raised to power n over a raised to power n. At this here, this becomes 5 raised to power x over 5 squared equals to 60 on this side, which can be written as 5 raised to the power x over 5 squared 5 times 5, that's 25, then equals to 60 on this side. That's same thing as 60 over 1. Then, here we cross multiply 5 raised to the power x times 1, that's 5 raised to the power x, then equals to 60 times 25. Then, next step here. We take the log on both sides. At this here, we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log 60 times 25. Next step here, we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to the power p, it is something as p log m. Then here, this becomes x log. 5 equals to log 60 times 25. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 5. As this divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5, which implies here log 5 cancelled each other, and we have x left equals to log 60 times 25 over log 5. Watch this video to the end. Next step here, we apply the law of logarithm where when we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. That is, all we have becomes x equals to log 60 plus log 25 over log 5. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions. Oh, here becomes x equals to log 60 over log 5 plus log 25 over log 5. That is, here yeah, we can write 25 as 5 times 5, which is 5 squared. Then, all we have here becomes x equals to log 60 over log 5 plus log 5 squared over log 5. Then, also here, to apply the power of log n, 2 comes a, all we have becomes x equals to log 60 over log 5 plus 2 log 5 over log 5, which implies a log 5 cancel each other. We have two left. That is, x equals to log 60 over log 5 plus 2. Then here also we can express 60 as 5 times 12, which implies what we have becomes x equals to log 5 times 12 over log 5 plus 2. That is, here yeah, also follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to log 5 plus log 12 over log 5 plus 2. Then, also we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 5 over log 5. 
plus log 12 over log 5 plus 2. That is, yeah, we have log 5 cancelled each other. That's one left, which implies over here becomes x equals to 1 plus 2, then plus log 12 over log 5. That is, this same thing as x equals to 1 plus 2, 3, then plus log 12 over log 5. Also here, you can write 12 as 4 times 3, which implies here we have x equals to 3 plus log 4 times 3 over log 5. That is, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to 3 plus log 4 plus log 3 over log 5. That is here, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to 3 plus log 4 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. Then, we can as well write 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 square, which implies we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 squared over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. Then we apply the power law of log here. Yeah, 2 comes there. Over here becomes x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. Then we apply the change of base when we have log a over log b is same thing as log a to base b now what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 that is the value of x here we have 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. Then what we have becomes 5 raised to power 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 then minus 2 this is equal to 60 on this side. That is here we have 3 minus 2 that's 1. I write this as 5 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. This is equal to 60 on this side. And here we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m plus n, that's the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. But this, this becomes 5 raised to power 1 times. 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5 times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5. This is equal to 60 on this side. And 5 raised to power 1, same thing as 5. Then times here, we reverse this 2 from power log. We have 5 raised to power log 2 square is 5 times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5. Is it equals to 60 on this side? At least we have 5 times 5 
raised to power log 2 squared, that's 4, it's 5 times. 5 raised to power log 3, is 5. This is equal to 60 on this side. Then, yeah, this follows log, log in one way out. A raised to power log B to base A, which is equal to B. Then here we have 4, that is 5 times 4, then times 3 here. Is it equal to 60 on this side? 5 times 4, 20. 20 times 3, 60. Which is equal to 60 on this side. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. Therefore, we conclude that x equals to 3 plus 2, log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the description below. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.